Hello, friends and retro gaming fans, and welcome to something that almost no one on the internet remembers. Operation Diva. Your name is Rourke Sorrel. You are a rogue fighter in the 23rd century. You have been imprisoned for disobeying orders during a recent combat, and figure you will probably spend the better part of your years here. A councilman suddenly enters with two guards, and tells you he will pardon you of all crimes if you will rescue his daughter from an alien ship. She was captured last night from her quarters, taken by an alien race known as the Zoran. You figure this is the only chance you will have to leave this pit, so you take the councilman up on his offer. You are provided with a fast ship, capable of catching the massive alien ship, and told to not come back unless you succeed. The councilman warns you that Zoran are known for their many destructive droids. You start to wonder if this is a mistake. In other words, pretty much your bog-standard Rescue the Princess plot. There is a little more background information in the game manual, but that really has no bearing on the actual gameplay itself. So, we do have some game help here. We start with our small blaster, but we can work our way up through various pistols and rifles all the way up to the Mighty Disruptor, or Disruptor, as is typed here. We've got helpful items like key cards, free life, first aid kit, body armor, energy armor, your dream girl. Ooh la la. Yes, our dream girl is someone that we've never laid eyes on or met before. That's not at all creepy. And the intro mentioned a whole bunch of droids. Those would be our enemies. Maintenance, Repair, Security 1 and 2, Guardian, Inquisitor, Warden, Seeker, Hunter, Death, Justice, Assassin, Destructor, Annihilator, Armageddon, and the squishy green Zorin. I don't expect you to remember all of those names. I usually don't. And game controls are... Pretty standard arrow keys and spacebar. Meanwhile, this is us. Uh, we are represented by this little Scooty Puff Jr. looking ship thing. We can move around, bang into walls, shoot our blaster. And uh, many times we can sort of trick enemies into coming after us and getting a face full of blaster fire. Oh, look, our first key card. This first level is pretty easy. There's a few enemies around. There's the key card to grab. And our first weapon upgrade, we go from the small blaster to the regular blaster. Oh, hello. Zap. Now, can we get this guy? No, sometimes we cannot. Dig get you. Oh no, now my face is full of plasma. It's often helpful to try to move a bit slowly in this. It is turn-based. Anyway, we picked up that keycard earlier. We don't actually need it to exit from this level. We can just fall down this convenient hole. So, Operation Diva is a little shareware game. Ow. By Robert Chancellor. And it's just one of those random games that we had on my family's computer when I was about eight, nine years old. Oh, I'm going to be very mad at you. Yep. Took more damage than I wanted. I know there's another one around here somewhere. Just one of you. Aha! And here we have stairs downward, which do require a keycard. And we do have a keycard to use. But I'm pretty sure there's some more goodies to be gotten on this level first. In addition to enemy weapons fire, we can also take damage by uh, laser doors. 
Aha! And this is why I like banging, banging into walls sometimes. Because you can find secrets. Ow. I am very nearly dead. Also, I should apologize because in my test recordings, you really can't read this red text, which is annoying. But most of the time, uh, you guys watching this won't really need to. Uh, level tells us which level we're on. That is currently two. Uh, key cards is how many key cards we have. Lives is how many extra lives I have. If it hits zero, it is game over. Health is from 100 to 0 percent. Again, if it hits zero, I am dead. Energy resistance is currently zero, but goes up to 50 percent when I pick up the body armor. And that means that I will not take full damage from this laser, I will instead take half damage. Which is very useful when one's health is somewhere around 15%. Owie. So instead of taking 10 damage, I take 5. And let me see, nothing in these cells... Aha, do you have an extra key card to grab over here? And our health does slowly regen over time as we move. So one way to cheese the game is to just move back and forth a whole lot until I've recovered. Hit the D key to go down. Jerk. I am at 10% health, that is not so good. Okay, those guys do about 10% damage with each shot. Do not like them. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got keycard over here. Medkit over here. That could be useful. If I can avoid getting lasered too much. Nuts. Yeah, these guys like to move basically every time you move or shoot towards them, which can be abused. And now I am significantly less close. Bleh. Now I am significantly less close to dead. Okay. I'm not sure why I didn't just move up to begin with on that one. Okay, extra key card acquired. Health in not terrible shape. Down we go. Oh, I walked right into that one. I should maybe try saving soon. Just label my save as diva save, replace, game saved. Much like in exile, my usual strategy here is to run around the perimeter and try to take out enemies. You don't actually need to destroy all of the enemies on any level here. You simply need to be able to reach the exit and go downwards. In fact, the game manual suggests that it is not always a wise strategy to try and eliminate all of the enemies. Of course, uh, little kid me at the time didn't really bother reading a lot of game manuals, even when I should have. Mm, this might hurt. Still alive!
Darn. So yeah, when you die in this game, if you still have extra lives, you just get teleported back to the start of the level. It's not so bad. Until you run out of lives. But one other thing that nine-year-old me was not so good at was the art of save scumming. Nowadays, I know better. And now we've got the carbine pistol. So, might be able to take you out in one shot? Yeah! Much better. Yeah, if I get too confident and start moving too fast, then I will take more blasters to the face than I really need. And maybe you guys noticed this convenient hole over here. So now we've got two extra key cards. Extra life here, but it is guarded by a nasty. One laser to the face instead of two is always preferable. Sometimes if I know there's an enemy in the vicinity, I can just keep shooting until they wander in my direction. Like so. There's our exit. Ooh, health kit. And this is just a corridor of nothingness. So... I could pick up this health pack and go find that extra life. Because I like getting goodies. Ow. And we'll regen a little bit on our way back to the exit. It is totally possible to go back up in levels, but you almost never want to. Okay, could just go straight down here. Ow, ow! Ah! That guy was hard and mean and very bad. Okay, I'm glad I did not just get killed by a stupid, uh, introductory maintenance or repair droid. I would have felt really dumb. Anything in the middle here? No. Okay, I, uh, I'm actually gonna fast forward this bit because I'm going to make up for my stupidity by just running around and regenning. In fact, why don't I just cut the episode here and we'll pick back up on the next level. See you soon, everyone.